this guy. Uh, just sitting here drinking Monster Greens and smoking cigarettes. And yeah, living healthy. Anyway, I'm going to go over the uh, 5.4 talent review. I did one before, but I've had a chance to play in 5.4, and I've tried a few new things because there was some changes in 5.4. And I'm telling you what, I, I, I really believe, I know everybody's got their own opinion, and please put your comments down. Tell me what you think. Uh, people have done that before, and I've been like, oh, yeah, that's right, you know, because uh, you know, I'm not perfect. But I'm a pretty solid player, and, you know, I, I definitely have been playing a long time, and I know what to look for. And this build for me has the most survivability and the most burst. This isn't a sustained DPS build though. This is purely an arena, you know, or RBG build for those that want that burst. And if you're dying a lot, this is definitely the build for you. Okay, first, level 15, Stone Bulwark. I go with this over the other two. Traditionally, in my other video, I said Nature's Guardian was what I went with. But I tried Stone Bulwark. Because I dueled another shaman, I couldn't kill him, I couldn't figure out why. I just wouldn't do any damage, you know, sometimes when I pump my burst and stuff. And this is why, right here. Stone Bulwark, it's beast mode, you know. Uh, if you haven't tried it, just try it, you know, see how it works. Duel the Warrior or something. When he pops that Blade Storm or something, you pop that, it can definitely help make and break, you know. Um, I love that. So, it's definitely good for an absorption ability to reduce damage. Frozen Power. I only use this in twos and uh, dueling. It's great for that distance catcher. Um, it's also great for survivability. I can every eight seconds if I'm getting trained by somebody, I can just you know frost shock them until it's on DR and kite them. You know, I love that ability. For arenas and RBGs, definitely Earth Grab would be my first choice. And if I'm facing a team that had like a lot of CC, like uh, say Boomkins and Mages, they drop Vortexes and uh, Solar Beams, I'd go with Windwalk. Uh, good raid support for your team. Uh, Totemic Projection, me hands down. I don't even care about the other two. Um, Totemic Projection, there's nothing like dropping a capacitor, then Frost Shocking, and projecting your totem to that player. Good game. You know, they're CC'd. Not to mention bringing rogues out of stealth, you know, with magma totems and stuff like that. I do it all the time. You know, I, I love that. You know, that's a great one. Um, Elemental Mastery for me, hands down, in my opinion, is better than the other two. Yeah, you get more sustained damage with Ancestral Swiftness, but remember at the beginning I told you, this is my burst back. This is my burst, uh, you know, build. Uh, Elemental Mastery, an extra 30 haste for 20 seconds, that's nasty. Um, level 75. Ancestral Guidance gives you the most survivability out of this tier, in my opinion. Um, you know, you can put it in your one-shot macro, and you can also keep it on your toolbar somewhere else and use it when you need it. Uh, put it in your one-shot macro, you're going to get topped off. You know, uh, when you pop a sentence and everything and you got this, yeah, it's it's pretty much a good game. You know, uh, I definitely use that one. Uh, but you got to make sure to put it on your bar also because it's only on a two-minute cooldown where, you know, uh, your sentence is actually on a three-minute. So you might, you know, have to use it in between, and it's more of a situational thing. So... Um, level 90, I used to go with Primal Elementalist for the extra CC, and you still can, but they nerfed the Fire Elemental, and Unleashed Fury is more of a sustained DPS uh, spec, so I go with the Elemental Blast. That's kind of like our finishing move. You get somebody to like 15%, and you got 5 stacks of Maelstrom up, and you've applied your Storm Strike, that's an extra 25% chance it's going to crit. That's nasty. You're going to hit them from 90 to 250k, depending on your bill or depending on how much agility, PvP power, all that stuff. So, that's about it, guys. Wow, I can breathe now. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure that uh, you hit the like button. And if you have any comments or you want me to make a video, uh, please make sure to put it in the you know comment section down below. And uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I got lots of interesting videos. And I will catch you guys later.